You will hear a speaker talking about culture shock. Listen and answer questions one to six. Thank you, thank you. And now for a gentleman who needs no introduction, please welcome our guest this afternoon, Dr. Gerd von Conrad. Over to you, Doctor. Thank you. It's always a pleasure to be here. So let's think about culture shock. For over thirty years, culture shock has been a bona fide field of research for European and American anthropologists and psychologists. They have studied the reactions and experiences during the first few months in a new country of travelers and diplomats, business people, and international students. The anthropologist Dr. Calvera Oberg was the first to use the term. Others have since experimented with culture fatigue and role shock, but these have not made it into everyday usage. Culture shock is snappy, and somehow we all know what it means to us. Although, if asked, we may find it as difficult to define as jet lag or homesickness. Some researchers describe five stages; others believe it is a six or even seven stage process. Not everyone experiences the same exact stages, but most travelers will go through the highs and lows, the positive as well as the negative aspects of living in a new culture. The different stages roughly are as follows: At first, you are excited by the new environment, and a few frustrations do not spoil your enthusiasm. When experiencing some difficulties with simple things, like, for instance, making telephone calls or using public transport, you tend to downplay negative emotions. Then follows a period in which cultural differences in behavior and values become more obvious. What previously seemed exciting, new, and challenging is now merely frustrating. You may feel isolated and become withdrawn from life around you. You seek security in the familiar, food from home, possibly even what you have never particularly enjoyed, becomes a focus, maybe an obsession. In the next stage, you may reject what is around you, perhaps becoming opinionated and negative. You may feel that everyone is against you and that nobody understands you. 